Well, let's continue our pinpoint weather team coverage now with Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly. He joins us live with the latest on what some residents are facing. He is with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Sean. Patrick, we're here on the banks of the Patuxent River in Cranston. We're randomly at the end of Moore Avenue where more flooding is possible if more rain falls tonight. These are the sights and sounds outside houses along the Patuxent River in Cranston. Pumps draining basements trying to stay ahead of tonight's expected rain as homeowners wait and worry. It's a little nerve wracking right now to hear the forecast that we're gonna get more water. So you say nerve wracking. What are your fears? Uh, I'm just afraid that the, uh, you know, more so afraid that the river is going to overflow. People who live along the Patuxent have reason to be afraid. Three years ago, epic flooding forced evacuations and rescues on Perkins Avenue. The federal government has since bought some of the worst hit homes, some but not all. And now, with the ground saturated and with more rain headed our way, all eyes are on the swollen Patuxent. We're always going to continue to watch it, especially as, you know, uh, Mother Nature has this compelling way of causing, you know, a lot of damage with flooding in the city of Cranston in these pockets of areas. She does make up her own mind, doesn't she? Mother Nature has her own mind. Sometimes it's the luck of the draw, and it looks like, for now, we escaped a little bit of it, but who knows what's going to be coming. We've been lucky so far, but our luck won't hold out much longer, and I'll have a basement full of water, so that's a little nerve-wracking. That's her fear. Her hope is that that won't happen as the swollen Patuxent rages on. Live in Cranston with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.